Best Actress Advanced, Kaylin Palmer from Old Answer. Uh, um, thank you, Andrew, for doing such a weird, funky film, and I hope you guys liked it. Thank you. No, this isn't the Academy Awards, but it is a significant award show nonetheless. Tonight's the culmination of, of all their hard work. They come and find out how they did, and uh, it's an honor to be played, but we have, we have winners for a second, third place for best film in two different categories, novice and advanced. And we have best acting awards. And the thing, the thing about this, tonight is you get to be amongst your peers. You get to be amongst all the other schools and see what other, what other classes are doing. It just makes it so much fun. I had a, I had a blast uh, working with my friends, and we went to some cool places to film too, so it was really fun. Hollywood move over. Cobb County video production students were red carpet ready as they attended the award ceremony for the 11th annual Cobb County Short Film Festival at Sprayberry High School. Modeled after the 48-hour film festival, students are given a few prompts for their productions, a line of dialogue, a prop, and a character name. And on the day the competition begins, they draw one of four genres that their film must fall under, action, comedy, drama, or suspense. And then given just more than one week to produce their five-minute masterpieces. It is an intense and challenging competition. My kids will tell you it is a, a week and a half long stress factory. I try to stress my kids out as much as possible. So uh, this is just a, another way for me to do that. It's, it's taken a concept where people have 48 hours to make a film, and when we tell the kids, oh, well, you'll have a week and a half to do it, that's not really true because they're in school, you know, for most of the time. So uh, it, it's fun because they have to figure out how to plan uh, around each other's schedules, you know, sports, jobs, homework. Teamwork is a big thing, cooperating and finding times when everybody can get um, some filming done, um, just working all together. The experience for the students is invaluable. As a teacher, I, I can tell my kids, you know, hey, this is what you need to do better, and they may listen to me, but when their peers look at it and they're like, this is what you did wrong, then they're a little more open to, to that, and they're like, well, you know, I may, be, I may need to step up my game a little bit. And so it's fun to be able to develop those relationships because of a mutual interest in, in filmmaking. I remember last year we were watching and we were like, okay, next year we should definitely try some of these techniques because they're really good. I never thought I would actually take it this far. Um, I didn't even, when I took the class, I was like, I might not even, you know, do so well in the class, but I, you know, just end up falling in love with it. Um, and then just making this film for this uh, film festival, I mean, yeah, that pushed me over the edge. I, I love filming. Students and teachers come out at the other end of the experience with more than just a finished film. You see it almost like uh, your team just won a football game if, if you did well, because it's just a, it's a team atmosphere in, in the broadcast class. We're, we're a tight-knit group, and so it's a lot of fun to, to see that level of excitement. Of course, you'll have some disappointment, but you, you turn that into a learning experience. I've seen kids who are who started with me as freshmen or sophomores who uh, now as juniors and seniors, I would have thought that they had been best friends all their lives. And the first thing they did together was Film Fest. And so to me, I think the relationships are a huge piece. So my very first year competing in a competition, my students actually placed and won a third place trophy and they've had the bug ever since then. But there hasn't been one festival that we haven't competed in since uh, since I started working here and the students look forward to it every year. Well, they're getting the skills that they can use hopefully in uh, an entry level, uh, developing the soft skills that they're gonna need in any line of work. Not only are the audio video technology and film teachers passionate about putting together this festival every year. This would not be possible without all of the video teachers working together. Uh, some teachers are judging, then some teachers are providing judges from industry. Uh, some teachers are writing scripts. Some teachers are cutting the videos down for us to be able to actually play out of the 40 something videos that we received. And so it's just a, a real community effort. And then just to be able to get together and talk uh, afterwards and kind of reflect, it's just uh, like these, these people are not just colleagues, but they're friends but they are all passionate about their students' accomplishments. I'm always proud of them. I, uh, they always amaze me um, with the effort that they put into 
to everything they do uh, in terms of this program. And so that's, there's a lot to be proud of. This is first time filmmakers and, and nothing makes me happier than to see uh, young filmmakers, their first time out, get it. You see that light bulb go off and then at the end of the night you hear you hear how wonderful it is and what kind of experience they had. They can't wait to compete again next year. And so that, that's what makes it great. For Cobb Ed TV, I'm Assistant Director of Communications, Lisa Watson.